Hello! Hello everyone. Today, we're not doing a Game of Thrones video. <laughs> Alright. We are going to talk about our wrap up for April. Woo! I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of Tones. Tones. first since I technically only finished one book <laughs> yeah and that was unbeatable squirrel girl volume 2 squirrel you know it's true <laughs> squirrel you know it's true <laughs> and I gave it three stars yeah I loved the first one the first one was so funny this one was funny but I had the same feelings about it you did there yeah. wasn't really like a cohesive storyline to it until like halfway through mm. and I wasn't really there for it yeah. so eh, you know right it was still good. Yeah. Yeah. But I just um, wasn't like, ah, uh, like the first one. Same. But, I mean, I would read more for sure. Yeah. yeah I we, mean, I'm, we I'm assuming there's more. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I don't know. <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't have any issues there. I don't know either, but I do want to read more. Cause uh, there is definitely volume three for sure. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I have seen that one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to read more, because I, I really like it. She's quirky, she's funny, she's yeah. different, uh -huh. uh, and I really, really like that, so. Yeah. Just this one was a, on the story side. I was like, meh, meh. Right. Yeah. I did like the whole girl squirrel thing, who was the villain. Yeah, I did like that, too. I just felt like at first when they're... The first issue... The first, yeah, was like... Where they're telling different stories about... Mm -hmm. It was girl. like a cute concept, but it yeah. didn't, it was, is it fun? I just kind of didn't have I very was like, much interest. really annoyed with that section. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I get it. Yeah. I get what you're doing. Right. Let's move on. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, it's my turn. Okay, so for my birthday, Christina got me the gigantic beard that was Evil by Stephen Collins, who also did the, uh, he wrote in and drew it. Oh, I thought you were going to say you wrote something else. <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway, I did not love this book, to be honest. Ugh, and I hate that. That's disappointing. I know. Yeah. So many people love this one, and that's cool. Um, it's about a, uh, a man who lives on an island, and on this island, everybody um, strives for perfection and being mm -hmm. the same and nothing out of place, and they all have, like, this... Uh, fear of the unknown and the they live on here the island is called here yep. and everything from there is like scary and one day this man like grows a hair out of his chin and he plucks it and it comes back and then he grows a beard and that beard gets bigger and bigger and it like it starts penetrating through the whole town whatever blah 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 it was a magical realism kind of vibe, mm -hmm. and it almost reminded me of the particular sadness of lemon cake, which that was so it got weird. like that really, was a weird book. It got really <laughs> conceptual there at the end, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I mean, I get it; it's poetic, yeah. But I just wasn't wasn't there for it, right? Yeah. Um, so it reminded me of that book, if you've mm. read it. It's a weird one. It's a really weird book. Yeah. It's not bad. It was just... No. Weird. The same thing for yeah. this one. So yeah. I think I gave it like a two and a half mm. yeah. sort of deal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, boo. Yeah. Um, all right. But you you did express wanting to borrow it. Would you still, after hearing me say so... Yeah, I, yeah, I still do want to read it, so... Okay. Thank you. And it is a um, kind of, like, graphic novel comic. It is. Deal. I forgot to say that. Oh, right. maybe you'll like it more now that you've lowered your expectations for it. Yeah, well, I had no idea what it was really about anyway, gotcha. cool. so... Mm -hmm. But now that I know it gets very... Conceptual? Yeah, that I, I appreciate the warning of that. Because, okay. like, the particular sadness of lemon cake, yeah. that came out of nowhere. <laughs> really and I was so... I think all of us yeah. in our book club in we real life like, read it. What? We were all like, <laughs> did that just happen? Uh -huh. Like, did I... I had to go back and, like, reread it. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> it was weird. It was a weird book. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm a little nervous because what? if you're talking about this one, I feel like you DNF'd it. No. Oh, good. I finished it. For some reason, I was thinking that you didn't finish it yet. No, I did finish it. Okay. I mean, my bookmark's in a random spot, but I did finish it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
Why are you nervous? I'm just excited to hear you talk about it because you okay. you wanted to read it really bad for yeah. a while now. Right. And so I'm just like, I haven't talked to you at all about what your thoughts on it. So I'm just very, I'm kind of cool. nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. nervous you didn't enjoy it. No, I did enjoy it. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Go ahead. So this is... This is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss, the second book in the King Killer Chronicles. The first book, The Name of the Wind, was one of my favorite books of all time. This one was very good. <laughs> uh oh. I loved it, actually. Um, I love Rothfuss's writing, mm -hmm. and I love the how surrounded. What's the word I'm trying to look for? How put into Atmosphere. the story I am. What is that called? Atmospheric? Sure, yeah. I would call it that. Immersive? The Immersive! The world is painted in front of me and I absolutely love that. Yeah. I feel like there's a but coming. <laughs> there is. Um, we are no closer to the answer mm -hmm. of a, the, the who and where the villains are mm -hmm. than we were in the first book. Oh, that's disappointing. So I feel like... Um, this book was just... A filler? N no. This was like a how Quoth became Quoth, and all of the adventures, okay. and like how he became such the badass that he is. Right. And I really loved all the adventures. It wasn't like, there wasn't like a, a story line throughout. It felt like sections mm -hmm. of adventures. Can I ask, does this one also take place in like when he's a kid and when he's an adult? This, no, this just takes place purely as, this time at the yeah, it academy picks, or it whatever. It picks up at the university and then um, he, I don't want to spoil anything, but there are different adventures. Okay, but you don't get like snippets of him, current time him, like you did in the first one? What do you mean? Where it was like him telling his story. Oh, yes, you do. You yeah, do? Okay. he's still talking. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I, I thought you meant like young, young. No, I just meant like him yeah, you owning see him the bar or whatever in the now bar. and yeah. then him at the university. Yes. Okay. So it's that same kind of format. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. anyway, I liked that. I do too. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, love, I love this series. It's been seven years <laughs> uh, since this book was written and we don't have the, the last book. I've heard that the last book is going to be shorter than mm. these two, which is weird. I just feel confident. Oh, no, it's on your shirt. Oh, no. That's too bad. You didn't sound like that. Oh, you got... <laughs> no, I meant it. Yeah. I'm going to have to change now. That sucks. Cause... It's not on camera. I was yeah. really... It took me a while to pick this shirt today. <laughs> Sorry. I put... I put on two different other shirts and then I went with this one. Well, I like the one you chose, but that's, you know, now you gotta change it. No, that's alright. We got plans later. We do. So. I'm so excited. That's alright. Alright. Anyway, I think I've said enough. I really, really liked it. I gave it four stars. Oh, good. I loved, I love this story. Yeah. I still haven't decided if I want to continue on or not. I would like to at some point, but uh -huh. I just, just, man, I don't know when. I know. And you didn't, like, love it. I didn't love the first one. It, I, I still, to this day, like a year later, am not sure how I feel about it. I'm kind of <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. I liked it while I was reading it, but when I was done with it, I was like, what? <laughs> Which sounds so dumb, but it was just, what? <laughs> I love this world. Yeah. Good, I'm glad. Okay. It's still my turn. I have two things to Three things to talk about. Let's talk about one that you also picked up. I did. And that was Cersei by Madeline Miller. We read it for our In Real Life book club. Yes, we did. And I'm the only one who DNF'd it. <laughs> yeah, you're the only one that didn't read it. I did. Which is too bad. Yeah, because as you we guys were talking about it. it, it sounded like really good. Yeah. I just couldn't get my head into it, and I was tuning out a lot of the audio, and I wasn't sold on the story it was okay uh and then i just found myself not really picking it up and so i was like yeah that's fine i'll just dnf it we listened to this on audible mm -hmm. i Our, like the narrator the narrator was fantastic yeah. yeah i didn't have any problems with that I, just... I have like one complaint with narrators like her 
Um, although it fit the story really well. Mm -hmm. But um, she was very good at reading. But she was, like, the same level of dramatic throughout. And sometimes that's, like... I don't know. See, I disagree with that. Only because I like the same sound level because sometimes okay. when people can get a little more dramatic yeah the sound difference it makes it really hard for me to hear at work and so oh. I've had to kind of like not listen to books at work because of things like that mm -hmm. and it's just kind of like a bummer for me gotcha because then I don't want it super loud because when somebody's like ah, I'm angry and I'm like ah <laughs> right there's people around me that's funny Oh, gotcha. Well, I, I don't get but surprised it, by them. Yeah, but Why? I mean, regardless of that, like, it doesn't bother me one way or the other. Yeah. Um, there's just been a few times where, uh, the narrator has been, like, just super intense. Like, they're not monotone, but it's, like, the same energy level throughout. Yeah. And I'm like, give a little more. No, not even that. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's, whatever. Oh, <clears throat> we should say what it's about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Circe is about the lesser gods, like not the non-Olympians. Greek mythology. Of the Greek mythologies. And Circe is the daughter of Helios, the sun god, and a nymph, I forget her name, Persephone, not Persephone. <laughs> anyway, no one thinks that Circe has any power, and... She's so underestimated. I love her so much. And she, just like, things happen. It's very earthy. It's very atmospheric. I mean, I just could see everything. It was like this modern, female-led, Greek mythology story. And I loved it. That's awesome. I definitely do want to, like, give it another chance. Yeah. When I'm more, like, in the mood. I've just been a little slumpy in my reading mm -hmm. the past couple months, and it's really, really taken a downward spiral. Gotcha. So I'm just kind of like, meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. But yeah, mostly everybody in book club loved it. Yeah, we had some good conversations. Yeah, and as you guys kept talking about because we have this rule in book club where, like, if you don't finish a book, like, we're going to talk about it and spoil it, so that's your own deal. So when right. you guys were talking about it, and I was like, no, 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 keep going. Mm -hmm. And, like, even though you guys were talking about what happens, I was still like, man, I should have kept with that. That sounds really good. Right. So I do want to go back and listen to it again. I was on Sometime. the edge of my seat a lot of times. Yes. Yeah. And I, I really loved it. You said you gave it four stars? Five. Five. Awesome. Yeah. I DNF'd it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was a, I was a good bit in, I think. Yeah, you were. Yeah. I was surprised. Well, it started to get better, like, with the whole sister thing, mm -hmm. and then, I don't know, I just was like, meh. That's fine. It's yeah. all good. Go it comes and goes in waves. Yeah. My mood's for... I juggle between music and podcasts and audiobooks, and sometimes music and podcasts outweigh it. Right now, it's music. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I get that way, too, where I'm like, I need a break from this particular medium yeah. to go to something else. Yeah. Okay, uh, next to next to next, uh, Umbrella Academy Volume 2 by Gerard Way, illustrated by, uh, Gabriel Ba, I believe, uh, Volume 2. So we meet the guys in this one. The Yeah, the pew pew people. <laughs> the yeah. assassins? Yes. Okay. Hazel and Cha-Cha. Yeah, yeah. They're both males in this story. Interesting. I really like that they changed it to female. Yeah, for the... TV show. Mary J. Blige. We have a discussion and a review on, right? Volume? No, we just did a discussion. A discussion. Of Umbrella Academy, the show, and volume one. Yeah. And there was one character who was a different species, and I really want to tell you about it. No, don't tell me. I haven't read it yet, and I really do want to read it. That's fine. Did it just shock you, though? It like, was just weird and different funny. Different species. Yeah. A human that's not a human? Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm not going to guess then, because... Right. I was like, Pogo? Oh, no, Pogo's... No. Yeah, you meet Pogo. And this one's centered more around the, the JFK storyline. Oh, okay, cool. Um, which I enjoyed. Um, it was really good. I... It was a long time ago since I read it. I gave it four stars, so I really liked it. Cool. Um, and I'm glad that I read it, and it gave me a little more, you know, uh... I love the TV show, so uh, it gave me more of that. Yeah. Good. Bye. 
And there was something else that was really cool, but I can't remember. Gosh. I do plan on reading it. Good. Sometime. Yes. Last one, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read Descender, oh, yeah. volumes one through six. Wow. Oh, like book one? No. Book one was volumes one through three. Oh. And then I just kept going. Volumes oh. one through six is its own story, like it kind of completes at the end. Oh, okay. And then it leaves it open to another story, and they're going to call those comics A Cinder. Oh, the okay. Out yet. All right. Yeah. Cool. So it has its own complete thing, which I really liked. Yeah. And then it was like a new chapter was, you know, like a, if if this was um, novels, that would be the first book. It was volumes one through six. Okay, I get you. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> I should say what it is. This was suggested for our In Real Life book club months, months, months ago, but we didn't read it because we didn't want to have to buy it. Yeah, we didn't get it. Yeah. Uh, but it did sound interesting, so. It was really good. Good. Um, I gave most of the volumes mm -hmm. uh, five stars. Ooh. I gave a couple of them four, but that's fine. Like, right. the series overall is five stars for me. It takes place in a universe where uh, there's, like, many different worlds, and there's, like, this... Galactic Commons, which is like the UGC, the... Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're talking about, because I've read books with Galactic Commons before, where yeah. the planets get to... It's like a government, or like a united... UN. Yeah, a yeah. UN, but like for worlds. Right. Yeah. Exactly. On a bigger scale. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. <clears throat> and there's this otherworldly machine that comes and kills like half the population of oh. the universe. Okay. Or more than that. Wow. Yeah. Why? <clears throat> we don't find that out until much later. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's a spoiler, the right. why. I think Nobody <laughs> knows, but everyone thinks it's the android's fault. This is a, um, a universe, I keep saying say a world, but yeah. a universe where um, androids and humans live together, and so after this giant robot comes and kills a bunch of people, the humans are like, oh, okay. It's a robot, AI did it. Mm hmm So then yeah. they kill, like, a lot of the robots. Rude! Totally. And so then there's, like, this little boy robot, and I love that storyline, and he's, like, the key to figuring this whole thing out. Aww. I'll leave that it there. really good, yeah. It's really good. I love the illustrations. It's, like, watercolor and pen. Ooh. Yeah. So beautiful and, like, rich um, colors. It's not, like, pastel -y. It's just, right. like, deep galaxy. I loved it. Wow, that sounds really good. Yeah. I highly suggest that one. Descender. Cool. I think that's it. I've talked about all the things. I did. You did good. Thank you, madam. Good job, dude. That's all we read in what month? April. Very good. When you play the game of Tom's, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>